Hey everybody, welcome to the video. So, recently I grabbed myself a copy of Quake 2 from Bethesda. They were just giving stuff away for QuakeCon. And it's been quite a while since I'd played Quake or Quake 2 or Quake 3 even. And one thing I noticed is that, well, when running the games on modern systems, they look dreadful. Like, they're kind of, they're not designed for big widescreen monitors. They're not designed to run it in 1080. And they look a little bit drab, really. So, I've been looking for something to pep things up a bit. So, I found this. Quake 2 XP, which is basically like a source port engine for Quake 2. Now, it's super simple to run, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Basically, what this does is it allows you to run your game in sort of 1080p. And just gives it kind of, uh, well, it, it turns your graphical settings up to 11, really, is the best explanation. It just makes everything look really great. But anyway, let me show you what it looks like. So, here we are at Mod DB. So, just grab yourself a copy from here. Couldn't be easier. In fact, they've gone very topical. They've called it the, what is it, the COVID edition. So, just hit download here. Don't worry about the actual link because I'll, I'll give you the link in the, uh, in the chat section down below. So, here we go. Just if you've never used Mod DB, just click on download now and you'll get a zip file and the contents will look like so. So, there we go. Here are the actual contents of that zip file. And then what you need to do, because you actually need to have a copy of Quake on your PC, go to your Quake 2 folder. And here is mine. No, no it isn't. Here it is. No, that's not it either. How embarrassing. Here is a copy of your folder. Then what you do is you grab the zipped, well, the zipped files, and basically you just copy them over, unzip them here. Now, you'll be asked if you want to replace some files, say yes, please, and what you'll end up is basically with all the contents here, over here. Now, all you need to do to launch the game is just click on this, Quake 2 XP. You know it's the right one because it says XP, there's no other that says XP, and then just click on that. It's possibly one of the easiest mods you could possibly ever install. Here we go. So we have that kind of what weird, crappy old 4.3 type view. Oh, here we are. So here is the new the new menu. You still have to use the cursor keys to sort of navigate the menu here, but click on game. I'm just going to go easy. Okay. It is slightly, well, it takes a little bit longer. It is slightly different. You can see this is a different kind of loading screen that we get. It does take a little bit longer, but totally worth it if you ask me, because this was quite unplayable. And the first thing you'll notice is, well, look at the, look at that rocket trail on your gun. A little bit all right, it's a little bit over the top, but I really like it. The explosions look pretty nice as well. Is there a dude here? We can shoot, maybe. Oh, there we go. But yeah, there you go. The game looks pretty decent. And also, I don't actually ever remember having a torch either. So look, there's a quite a nice torch. So this is about as close to a brutal Quake 2 as we're going to get. But yeah, looks really good. Really simple to install. Hope you really enjoy that. That's all I've got for this video. It's a short one, but I'll see you in the next one. So until then, my friends, this is Hip Kelp, signing off.